Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. In the late 1960s, the studios bet big on the comedy western. So many got made. Support Your Local Sheriff, and Gunfighter, Cat Baloo, Dirty Dingus McGee, There Was a Crooked Man, and probably the biggest and best of the bunch, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The movie we're going to look at today owes a great deal to Butch Cassidy, and it comes at the end of the craze. 1971's, all lowercase, something big. Every man wants to do something big, just once in his life. It's just that most men don't have to hold up a stagecoach, steal a colonel's wife, and trade her for a gun to do it. Now what does he want with a Gatling gun? I never asked him. None of my business. Of course, if I was to make a guess, I'd say he were planning something big. I have a great deal of affection for Dean Martin. He's one of the most relaxed, natural movie stars ever. A real cool cat. Often thought of as more of a personality than an actor, I think that sells him short. Who else could be Jerry Lewis's straight man for film after film, then take on Marlon Brando in The Young Lions? He's actually great in a bunch of movies. Rio Bravo, Some Came Running. But yes, he was a singer first. One of the best. I love the way he styles the song. The phrasing, his soft croon, memories are made of this. There's a great show business biography about Martin called Dino, Living High in the Dirty Business of Dreams, written by Nick Tochitz. The book is hard on him, he's labeled a coaster, but my god, can you call a guy lazy when he never stopped working? TV series, nightclubs, roast, albums, the Rat Pack, Matt Helm, on and on. Three decades of movies. True, there is a lot of fluff. Something Big, for example, was not particularly well reviewed. This was one of Dino's last movies, coming after his huge success in the first airport movie, where I believe he became the world's highest paid actor. He had a profit deal that got him a whopping $7 million bonus. So I guess, why not coast? Something Big is not a revisionist western like The Wild Bunch, which was in vogue in the early 70s. This is a light programmer. I saw it at a drive-in as a kid with my dad, and he really loved it. It's funny how much of this trailer actually doesn't even have Dean Martin in it. The real star here is that Gatling gun. It's presented as the coolest weapon that ever existed. The movie does have a nice supporting cast, another one of my faves, Brian Keith, plus the always great Ben Johnson, and the two actresses here have their own mini cults, the troubled Carol White from Poor Cow and Goldfinger's Honor Blackman. The delightful score is by Burt Bacharach, clearly trying to reproduce his hit from Butch Cassidy, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. He teamed up here with lyricist Marvin Hamlish and singer Mark Lindsay from Paul Revere and the Raiders. They deliver a dandy title tune. You lovely man. Well, Chief, uh, thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 